Hello children, I hope you are doing beautiful mathematics. In this video, we will learn something related to combinatorics for mathematical olympiads. This problem came up in the RMO or the Regional Math Olympiad 2024 in India. This is the second level of mathematical olympiads. This is a beautiful problem and with careful analysis and casework, you can easily do it. So follow along to learn how to do effective casework in combinatorics or counting problems. Okay, so I will explain the problem briefly. We want to figure out what is f of 2 to the power m plus 3. f of f of 2 to the power m times 3. I will explain the function f in a second with the example that they have provided. This is equal to 2 to the power 2m minus 1 times m plus 2. This is the goal. We want to show this. Now, what is this function f? Let's understand using an example. What is f4? f4 is the number of chains, four chains. What is a four chain? It is a, like a sequence of numbers starting at 1 and ending at 4. Starting at 1 and ending at 4 such that every previous number divides the next number. So, 1, 4 is definitely an example. 1, 2, 4 is also an example. Notice that 1 divides 2, 2 divides 4. The previous one should divide the next one. That is the condition. That kind of sequence is known as an n chain or in this case a 4 chain and the number of 4 chains is f of 4. Let's take another example. What is f of 5? So we should start with 1 and we should end at 5 all such sequence says that the previous number divides the next number. So that's only one of them is possible, 1 comma 5. So f of 5 is 1. So for example, 1, 3, 5, this will not work. Because though 1 divides 3, notice that 3 does not divide 5. So f of 5 is 1. Here is a little question for the viewers. What is f of p if p is a prime number? If p is a prime number, what is f of p? What is f of p to the power k? That is a power of a prime number. Can you find these formulas? These are not part of the actual problem, the RMO problem, but these are fun exercises that will get you started thinking about the problem. Okay, so what do we want to find out? Let's get back to it. This thing, f of 2 to the power m times 3. How many n chains are there starting at 1 and ending at 2 to the power m times 3? How many such sequences are there starting at 1 and ending at 2 to the power m times 3? That's the question. So we will solve this using a classic technique in combinatorics known as switching casework. I call it switching casework because this is a very useful technique that has been useful in many other problems, of course. But in this particular problem, you will see how we can switch the position of the three to solve this problem efficiently. So this casework, this is essentially a casework, will be looking at where is the first appearance of the number 3 in the sequence. The first, let me write it down, first appearance of 3 in the sequence. Where will it appear for the first time? Because see, suppose it appears 
with 2 to the power j times 3. The first time it appears is at 2 to the power j times 3. Now j can be 0, j can be m. It can appear, the 3 can appear without the 2 to the power anything. So just after 1, 3 can appear, of course, 2 to the power 0 times 3. Or this can appear at the very end, 2 to the power m times 3. So the first time 3 appears, that is our, you know, differentiating factor. So let's see how we can use that. So let's, for the sake of it, write it down like this. 2 to the power j times 3 and 2 to the power m times 3. For the sake of simplicity, let's take the case j equal to m. Let's consider this separately. Okay. Let's consider this separately. It's a special case. What about the other cases? Okay. So, these are some slots where some elements can come in. And these are some slots where some elements can come in. So, what can come in the terms that are coming before 2 to the power j times 3? Remember, this is where 3 appears for the first time. So, if I look at the numbers that comes before it, all of them will be 2 to the power something. And what are the possibilities? Well, I can fill it up using 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2, up to 2 to the power j. I can choose any one of them, any two of them, any three of them, any four of them, all of them, whatever I want. If I, if I choose any three of them, I will just put them, there is only one way to put them in the increasing order. The smaller power of 2 will divide the higher power of 2 and so there is only one way to put them and I will just plug them in. Okay, so the question becomes now this, how many ways can you choose elements from this particular set? 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2, up to 2 to the power j. You can choose none of them. Of course, you can just start with this. After 1, you directly start with this. Or you could choose one of them. Maybe you choose just 2 to the power 1 and put it here. Or you choose 2 to the power 5 and you put it here, provided 5 is smaller than j, less than or equal to j. So, j choose 1. Or j choose 2. Or you could choose all of them. The subtle part is this. Once you choose a few of them, then there is only one way to put it. You just put them in the increasing order in these slots. Okay? So what is the sum? To j, j choose 0, j choose 1, j choose 2, up to j choose j. Well, it is simply 2 to the power j. This is the famous identity from... Um, binomial theorem or elementary combinatorics, j choose 0, j choose 1, up to j choose j, this is 2 to the power j. Okay, what about these slots? Well, this can start from, okay, these slots can start from 2 to the power j plus 1 into 3, 2 to the power m minus 1 into 3. Up to this it can go, right, from j plus 1 to m minus 1. So, how many elements are there? There are literally m minus 1 minus j elements. So, what can we do? We can again do the same thing. 2 to the power j plus 1 into 3, 2 to the power j plus 2 into 3, up to 2 to the power m minus 1 minus j. Not m minus 1, mi m minus 1 into 3. These are m minus 1. Uh, we can choose none of them. We can choose one of them or we can choose two of them or we can choose all of them. You know, we can, we can do all possible cases. 
so you can see what what what's happening here this is again 2 to the power m minus 1 plus j cases uh, m minus 1 minus j cases I'm sorry yeah minus j this is m minus 1 minus j there are my minus j minus j sorry about that so you can see why it is minus j right 2 to the power 1 2 to the power j these many are not here starting from j j plus 1 you are going to m minus 1 so this is m minus 1 minus j right okay so 2 to the power j options from the first slot first slots stuff that comes before 2 to the power j into 3 and 2 to the power m minus 1 minus j options after 2 to the power j into 3 so total we have 2 to the power m minus 1 options 2 to the power m minus 1 possibilities and this is true for m j equals to 0 we have 2 to the power m minus 1 possibilities j equals to 1 we have 2 to the power m minus 1 possibilities up to j equals to m minus 1 we have 2 to the power m minus 1 possibility so total we have 2 to the power m minus 1 m cases there are m cases here j equal to 0 j equal to 1 up to j equal to m minus 1 0 1 2 3 up to m minus 1 m cases m times 2 to the power m minus 1 now we go to the special case the last case where we, have, we start with 1 end with 2 to the power m times 3 and all the stuff that is in in between are powers of 2 because 3 comes only in the last slot all the numbers that comes in between can be 1 uh, 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 up to 2 to the power m so how many ways can we choose stuff from here well we can choose none of these m numbers or we can choose one of these m numbers or we can choose two of these m numbers up to we can choose all of these m numbers this is 2 to the power m it's a bit strange because the numbers are also powers of 2 and the final thing is also a power of 2 but there shouldn't be any confusion we have these m numbers we want to plug them that plug them in here and we can choose none of them we can choose one of them we can choose two of them all of them so 2 to the power m so how many total cases are now we have we have 2 to the power m minus 1 times m plus 2 to the power m so we can simplify 2 to the power m minus 1 times m plus 2 to the power m minus 1 times 2 now we can take 2 to the power m minus 1 common we have m plus 2 in the bracket that's the final answer it's beautiful you use the switch use 3 as the switch the position the first appearance of 3 as a switch you are using the switch to break down all the cases into very well organized sub cases and you are counting the sub cases separately and adding them together okay so i hope you learned something from this video i'll see you in the next one keep on doing beautiful mathematics take care and bye